Hey everybody, welcome back to the garage. This is Brad with I it, Buy It, Flip It, Ship It. And today we're gonna go over what sold on eBay. I am a part-time reseller. I do most of my sales on eBay, so let's get rolling. So first thing I have here is a Walt Disney Treasures. If you ever see these tins, these are good. These are good money. I've sold one of these before, so when I saw this at my local thrift store, I knew I had something here, comped it out. Uh, the only problem I have with this one is it does have some dentations here, so it's not in the best quality, but it has everything inside. It's got the uh, regular case, and it even has a certificate of authenticity with the disc and a few other inserts there. So I got that for, I think, six or seven bucks. And it sold today $55 plus shipping. I did put priority on that because I knew it was gonna be a little bit more of a, a cost for the item. So I just wanna go ahead and just insure it and get it there faster, right? So buyer is about $13 in, so um, for the shipping, so that is about what 68 bucks, right? Pretty good. Uh, next thing here, I got Peter Parker and Spider Man, right? So these aren't just figures, they came with clothes. Um, interesting ones. We got some pants, uh, we have uh, a ninja suit, right? Uh, jacket, it's kind of it's supposed to be like a leather jacket, but it has some uh, issues there. We've got Peter Parker's camera. Uh, we have a whole Spider-Man suit with mask. And this thing is really not the easiest thing to get on. So I took pictures of it in and then I took it off and then put it back on because it was a little bit of a pain. Uh, anyways, I got these both for about $3, and they sold uh, 28 plus about $10 shipping, so buyer's about $38 in on that. And next thing, I got this at a um, insurance liquidation shop. They, I see a lot of stuff with, from Amazon and different warehouses and stuff that they said they get. So this is Alexios and Cassandra, I guess. I don't know. It's from a game, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I don't know the game very well. I got a couple dollars into this, and it sold for $21.99, uh, plus shipping about $6 shipping. So buyer's about $28 in for this. The box is a little bit damaged, so I didn't get top dollar for it. Uh, but that's typically what kind of things I get from that store. Uh, but if it sells well, it'll sell well damaged too. Next thing I got here is a lot of some Minecraft. We got the large guy here. I think that's Steve. We got some animals. We got the horse. We got a spider. Uh, and you got some little mini micro kind of figures in there too. Uh, only have a couple of dollars into that. That's mostly pickups from the bins that I just collected for a while and uh, lotted it all together when I thought it was good enough. So I sold that for $15, plus shipping, buyer's about $11 in, so that's about $26 all in for the buyer for that. And uh, let's see, last sale I'm gonna go over here is I found uh, a set of Owl Diaries. Never heard of this before, but I saw a bunch of books at Goodwill. And I was trying to find the best lots. A lot of the sets were incomplete. But this one I had 1 through 14 of. So, and it's made by, uh, or it's published by Branches. So, Owl Diaries, 1 through 14. And these were all mostly in great condition. I think one or two of them were just slightly used. But they all look pretty new. Got these for a dollar each at Goodwill. So, about $14 in. And they sold for $39.99. Free shipping, it's going to go um, media mail, of course. It's going to Honolulu, so media mail, I guess, is a little bit more. It's like six or seven bucks, it said. So, uh, still a good profit for me. So, turned out pretty good. And I did want to update you on the issue with the um, 
interception. That's the word, right? So when we uh, submit an interception with the U.S. Post Office, is because the buyer had bought something. I shipped it. It was like ninety-five dollars Lego set, and um, they said they didn't get it. It was kind of stuck. It was looping. It said miss sent twice. And I ended up putting in a intercept because the buyer was trying to go ahead and get a refund for it, even though I didn't have it. It was out there in post office land somewhere. So I put an interception in. It cost $15 plus whatever shipping it was to get back to me. That was fine. I had $0 into that Lego set anyway. So I was still trying to get my money back before the buyer received it and then got a refund. And I got nothing. Um, but I ended up also putting in a... Uh, search request and a missing item request. So when the buyer submitted a case with eBay, they ended up uh, stalling and saying, hey, let's give it to the 28th and see what happens. Well, 26th or something like that rolled around and the buyer eventually got it after several messages back and forth. He was really not very happy, um, but I was trying to let him know, hey, I'm doing what I can, right? I was counting on either one it arriving on time or at least in a timely manner within that 28th before the 28th right um, or that they intercept it and get it back to me and then I would go ahead and refund him um, so that is what happened they ended up getting the item they emailed me not long after receiving it and said how happy they were with it I packaged it very well they're really happy with the service that I gave uh, they just didn't like what happened with the post office right so uh, everything turned out good there. I got, I went in, researched what the intercept said, and it said the interception failed. So I'm not going to get charged anything for that. Um, it all worked out. So the only thing I can say is maybe the interception doesn't really work because I put it in and it failed, and it was in a place where it probably didn't have to fail. They probably could have intercepted and got it back to me. So I don't know. That's the first time I've ever tried it. And that is the result. It didn't work. But thank God it got to the buyer and I didn't lose out on any money because that was really my concern. Everybody turned out happy. So that is the happily ever after story there. So that is how it went. So if I ever try that interception again, I will let you know how it goes. As of right now, it is a 0% success rate for me. So that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And while you're out there, make sure you're eyeing, buying, flipping, and shipping. You guys have a good night.